hey, hey, hey. Cooking with your girl, Judy. Today, we are going to have teriyaki chicken. I guess y'all say chicken, chicken, chicken. I love chicken. And I want me some teriyaki chicken for lunchtime. So, I bought four chicken thighs. And I love thighs. Thighs are flavorful. They got, uh, I say fat on them. So, they're really good and flavorful. And uh, I'm going to show you what you need for this, for this uh, teriyaki chicken. Okay, of course you'll need chicken thighs for the sauce. No, for the seasoning. We're going to go with the seasoning first. For the seasoning, we'll need ground white pepper. We will need garlic powder. And I'm going to flavor it with some accent seasoning. Uh, okay, let's come over here to the O. Oh, to fry the chicken in, which we, we're not going to fry it in flour, you will need pure sesame oil. Pure sesame oil. Oyster flavor. Can you see it? And cornstarch. Okay, for the sauce, we're going to put on it. We're going to put brown sugar, ground ginger, sesame seeds, teriyaki, soy sauce, orange sauce. Okay, I'm going to take my chicken on the other side over here and, and, and debone it. I'm going to show you how to debone at least one, and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have deboned one chicken thigh. And I'm going to show you how I debone it. The other day I showed it to you, and it was in the sink. And uh, I, I don't think you got the full effect. Okay, you're going to scrape the bone like this the top of the bone you're going to scrape then you're going to go in under the bone and cut a little piece off and you're just cutting a little bit at a time away from the bone then you're going to scrape the bone I mean the meat down off the bone Okay, then you're going to wiggle it a loose like that a little bit, and then I always take my shears <clears throat> and cut away, and I do leave a little gristle in there, but uh, that gristle is good to chew on, suck on or chew on when you are, your food gets done, so that's two, and there's that bone. Okay, scrape away from the bone, I mean, scrape the meat from the bone. Then you're going to go up underneath the bone with the, with the, uh, is this, knife. Then you're going to cut that part away there. And sometimes I have to take the shears and cut it away. Then you're going to scrape down on the bone. And I'm quite sure all of us know how to the bone a thigh. And uh, I'm just showing you how I do it. Okay, wiggle the bone away. Then you're going to take the shears and cut the bone out. 
And I'm going to put me some lo mein with this. And uh, I'm going to eat good for lunch. Okay. Now, have you, uh, now mind you, I have not washed the chicken yet. I'm going to wash it down with uh, salt and uh, apple cider vinegar. Scrape away from the bone. Scrape the meat from the bone. Then you take and go up under that bone and release the top part of the bone. And most of the time I have to take my shears and do it. I don't have real sharp knives. I gotta buy me some. Scrape the meat away from the bone. Wiggle the bone. Then you take the shears and cut it away. And I find that the easiest way to debone a chicken thigh. And there we go. Four chicken thighs debone. And I'm going to uh, wash my chicken in a uh, uh, apple cider vinegar and, sh and salt and let it soak for a minute and I'll be right back okay you guys I'm back I have put about four tablespoons of sesame seed oil into the frying pan I have put about a teaspoon of oyster or oyster or uh, flavored sauce into the frying pan, and uh, should have had it on. And uh, I'm gonna stir it around to mix the two flavors together. And I've got my spaghetti noodles ready for my lo mein and I do have uh, my pot stickers on can you see over there my pot stickers on and um, I've got my broccoli I use frozen broccoli and I ran hot water on it just to knock the chill off and I do have about a teaspoon of carrots, um, a teaspoon of uh, bell pepper, a teaspoon of onion, and a teaspoon of garlic. Uh, let me see. Uh, minced garlic in this bowl here. And this is going for my lo mein. But right now I'm going to focus on making this teriyaki chicken. And, uh, I'm gonna get the pot hot. And like I say, I'm mixing up the two flavors in the pot together. You can use olive oil if you want, uh, vegetable oil. You don't have to use um, sesame seed oil or the oyster flavor sauce. Now I'm taking cornstarch and I'm gonna brush it. On my chicken I'm gonna turn it over and brush a little bit more corn storage on the other side. Now I'm going to put the chicken in the frying pan. Skin side down.
And I did cut a little of the skin off, the hanging skin. Excuse <coughs> me. But I did leave some of the skin on. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and mix up my sauce. I'm going to turn it like uh, on medium. And I'm going to let it fry for maybe seven minutes, seven minutes on each side. Now I'm going to go over here and uh, mix up my sauce. Let me see. I thought I had everything out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I'm I am going to add, this is going to be my teriyaki sauce. I'm going to add about maybe half a cup. Woo, that's too much. I'm going to take some of that back. About a half a cup. I'm going to put some ground ginger in it. About a teaspoon, sesame seed, about maybe a teaspoon. Teriyaki sauce, about a half a cup. Soy sauce, maybe two tablespoons. And the orange sauce. About half a cup. Don't you just hate when that happens? If I wasn't doing this, I'd pop that off just like that, but good gracious of life. Now, and I am going to mix it up. And I'm going to give it a taste. That's good. Woo! Yes! Now that's my sauce. Now I am going to go back over to the chicken. And it hadn't been fried, uh, fried for seven minutes on one side. I would think about maybe three, or three, four minutes. I'm going to lift it up and take a look at it. I'm going to move it around a little bit so I'm going to get stuck to this pan. And Now I'm going to let 
let it continue to fry for about maybe four more minutes on one side and I'll come back and turn it over and let you see how it does. I'm going to turn this, the eye up just a little bit, a little past medium, going the high side. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay. And I did forget to put my seasonings on my chicken, so I sprinkled a little accent. Ground white pepper and garlic powder on the chicken on that side. Now I'm getting ready to flip it. Cause it's been seven minutes. Now I'm gonna let it fry seven more minutes on the other side. On the side I seasoned. I just plain forgot to add the seasonings, but it's on there. I'll be right back, okay? Once your chicken has been done through and through, you are going to pour some of the oil off of the pan. I will leave just a little oil on there. Turn your eye low. And I'm going to add just a little of this cornstarch that I used to put on top of the chicken in the uh, sauce because I want it to thicken. And it's going to thicken anyway because I've got that orange sauce in it. And you're going to pour it. Turn it up high. Pour it over the chicken. Then I'm going to drizzle some of the sauce on top of the chicken. Teriyaki chicken, y'all. And it looks delicious. Smells wonderful. I'm going to turn it on low because it's going to thicken up. And my pot stickers are down over there. And it's getting closer and closer to lunchtime. I'm going to move this on the back eye. And bring my low main to the front. I'm going to turn it on. Well, it's already on. Yeah, it's already on. 
I'm going to turn the one on the back eye on low. And then I'm going to pour a little of this sauce. I should have saved some into the lo mein. I'm going to put my vegetables in. And my broccoli. I'm going to give it a good stir around. Let me see, I got a little bit more left in here. Okay. See that lo mein with them vegetables and broccoli? I'm going to put like maybe a half a teaspoon of oyster oil. I'm going to let that come to a little simmer. Enough to get the broccoli and the vegetables done. And my teriyaki chicken is done, really. Absolutely done. I'm going to turn it off. And let me check my low main. Let me turn it up. Because I'm hungry. I'm ready for this to be through. Okay, there we go. It's, it's frying now. I'm going to take my teriyaki chicken out of my sauce and slice it up. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to slice it up. Like they have it in Chinese restaurants. About three pieces, three per breast. Oh, it's hot too. I'm drizzling a little bit more sauce on top. Can you see it? Teriyaki chicken. 
I'm going to put uh, my lo mein and vegetables on it and my pot stickers, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got teriyaki chicken here. I've got lo mein with vegetables here. I've got my pot stickers here. And it's lunchtime. Mmm. So good, I'm forgetting about one thing. Some yum yum sauce. Oh yeah. And do y'all think I'm gonna eat all four of these breasts? I might. Teriyaki chicken. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. I'm gonna dip it in there. I'm gonna do a little of mine. Mm-mm. Oh, that's good. I was going to try to eat with these sticks. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. This is good. Pass sticker. Mmm. This is so good. I'm gonna eat one more bite. I'm gonna let y'all go. Cause I gotta go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Mouthful, wait a minute. Mm -mm. Stay hungry, stay humble. I'm talking about hungry for knowledge. Be blessed. Y'all have a good day. Like, uh-oh, drop it out my mouth. Like, subscribe, comment, share my teriyaki chicken. And I have a recipe on, on my YouTube channel for the lo mein. So y'all can look on that. And I don't have anything about these pot stickers. They're just plain old simple. Put them in water and oil and let them go. They are so good. Y'all ain't got to go home. But you sure got to get out of here. Bye for now. My lunch getting cold. Mm -mm -mm.